The next question, we are given um, income and expenditure according to what the government receives. So it says to us, the government receives income and various, from various sources. So there's different people bringing in money, um, like tax and loans. This income is then distributed um, to the different sectors. So wherever this money comes from, we're paying our tax, taxes and then they distribute it. Table three, which is the table that we've been given here, um, shows the source of income and expenditure. Those are our key words again, because that's exactly what we are working with today. Income and expenditure um, for the 2019 and 2020 tax year. This is very relevant because this is this year, right? Um, government sources of income and expenditure, we've been given that. So we've got our source and from source there, um, we've got tax loans, other income, um, which hasn't been specified, and then we've got non-tax income. And then we've got the amount, which we are told is in billion rand. So that's our, um, that's our, I would call it um, our, okay, I'll, I'll get the word just now. <laughs> so we've got all the amounts there, and then sector, social development, basic education, um, health, peace and safety, economic development and then we've got our amount there so we've got our income there and then we've got our expenditure over there so we've got the two so income we've got the sector and the amount and at the end if you look at the total we haven't been given the total so chances are we're going to be asked to calculate that total um, and then for expenditure we've got sector and we've got amount um, and then we are told again, it's in billion rand. Um, it's our unit of measurement. There, I got the word again. My favorite word, unit of measurement. Do not forget your unit of measurement. Let's see the type of questions that they've given us um, that go hand in hand with this. Basically, the first question says to us, write the amount received from loans um, as a number in millions. So we need to go and look at loans and we need to write that number um, in millions, okay? So I'm just going to write that number first. So that's, let's just make that number one. And basically, um, we have been given that number over there. So that is going to be 200 and. 42, don't forget to do that, 242.7, and then in millions, we know that millions, a million has six zeros, so I would be adding one, two, one, two, three, so that would be 242 uh, million and then 700,000 rand, okay? Don't be scared. <laughs> calculate the missing value of A. So in order for us to calculate the missing value of A, we need to just add um, all the amounts that we have been given. So basically, the amounts that we have been given, um, I'm going to be given two marks for this. So whenever you're given two marks for something, it's probably a calculation and then the mark that you I mean, and then the answer that you're going to be getting a mark for. So please don't make that mistake and only give me the answer. Sometimes the two marks is for the answer, but sometimes the two marks is for um, the calculation and the answer. So please don't make that mistake. So 1370 plus 242 million 700,000. Wait, let me do that. I'm going to write the numbers as they are first. Plus, see now I'm ahead of myself. Plus 180.3 plus, mustn't get ahead of yourself. Plus 31.5. And I love. We just put that into our calculator. So if we put that in our calculator, then um, it will then be 
180.3 plus 31.5 which would then give us 1824 1824 um, I think that is 0.5 there we go just double checking and because we are told up there that our numbers are in billion rands we need to be extremely careful um, about what we are writing at the end here and you are allowed to write billion okay number three going down or you can always check how many zeros a billion has a billion if a million has six zeros a billion should have nine zeros so you're just going to be adding on um, according to that B let us look at B so we are asked now um, to calculate the missing value B and to show all of our calculations the missing value B is other over here and the way that we are going to be calculating um, our other is that we are going to be taking our total and subtracting all of these values from our total and that should give you um, other. Ha, let's see. Very, very interesting um, what's happening over here. So I am going to be taking that, which is 1823.72. And I'm subtracting all those other values, um, many, many values. And that is out of four marks, showing you that you are going to be getting all your marks. Don't be scared to subtract everything because you will be getting a mark for absolutely everything that you are working on. Minus 211.0, minus 209.2, Going on, minus 208. Make sure that you've included all your values, guys. Um, that is super, super important. 202.2 minus 112. I just need to make sure that it's showing there. Um, and that should give us the total amount. I am not... Oh, no. I was about to say that I'm not going to do that, but I'm actually going to do that. And the reason um, for me doing that is because the next question is asking me to do that. Okay, so let's go and subtract that. Don't be scared. Please make sure you are plucking in all the correct values. So I'm going to just be doing all of that all over again. 278.4 minus 262.4 minus 222.6 minus 211.0 uh, that point zero wouldn't have really made a difference um, but do put it in if you are a little insecure 208.5 Minus 202.2 minus 112.7. Let's see. And that leaves us with 116.72. Um, so that would be 116.72. Don't be scared. So that's the value of B. Now we've calculated all of this. A lot of work, right? Phew, sweating. Um, but you are getting all of your marks, so don't be scared. Like I said, this particular question is four marks. Four marks is a lot. Four marks can make you or break you. So please don't be scared. Go in. Get all of your marks. Um, 2.3.4 says to us, determine the amount allocated for community development as a percentage. Whenever I see a question like this, determine something as a percentage this means it's going to be a fraction 
times 100. A fraction times 100. So what is the fraction? It says to us, for community development as a percentage of the total expenditure. So we already know a, t a total of is going to be um, the denominator and then the community development is going to be the numerator. So in this particular one, um, it's going to be, I just want to see what I've numbered the others. So let's make this number four. So this one is going to be community development all over total expenditure times 100. And that's going to give us um, whatever that we are looking for. So let's go look for community development. So there's community development over there. Nice one, right? Community development over the total. So what percentage? So whenever they're asking me what the percentage is going to be, I multiply it by 100, I know. What percentage is community development of the total? Let's go down and put that nicely. I wrote that as a formality. So community development, I said, would be 208.5 of the total, which is 1823.72 times 100. Nice one. This is all marks um, that we are working for. 208.5 all over 1823.72 times 100. There we go. So it's 11.43%. 11.43%. And now I'm going to give you a little point. Can you see here that we were not told what to round it off to? We were not told what to round it off to. And do you see, I went and I made it two decimal places. In order for you to know, because sometimes in your instructions, um, at the very beginning, if you do read your instructions, I know a lot of you guys don't even read your instructions, you just go to the paper. Read your instructions. If your instruction says to you, round it off to the relevant context, if it says to you, round it off to the relevant context, the context in this particular case, let's go see what this context is. Here's the context. The context, without me even sweating, I can see everything is rounded off to one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place, one decimal place. So it means that the relevant context in this particular case is one decimal place, which is 11.4%.